Hey y'all, it's Megan. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. So today is going to be kind of a story time, but it's going to be a little bit different than usual. Normally I talk about stories and experiences I had while I was working at Disney as a cast member, uh, things that happened to me while I was working at the Jungle Cruise. And today I am going to actually be talking about things that happened to me while I was a guest. Uh, fun experiences and interactions that I had when I was just at Disney World, just to have fun at Disney World. One of them was while I was working there, but I I was there on like my off day and I, it was just like something that happened while I was at the park as a guest. I wasn't like on stage, I wasn't working. Um, but the other two that I'm going to talk about were things that happened when I was just at the parks with my husband. So these are some of my fun cast member guest interactions as a guest, not a cast member. So the first one I'll mention is the one that took place while I was working at Disney during the time frame that I was working at Disney, but not while I was actively working, if that makes sense. I was just at the park on one of my days off. Um, and on that particular day, it was actually pretty close to the end of my program. I want to say like two or three days before I finished. Um, and I just took a day to go to Animal Kingdom. I was like, I gotta, gotta go do what I can while I... You stop when I look at you, huh? I decided to go to Animal Kingdom on one of the last couple of days of my program, and so I was just like wandering around. I was totally alone. I was meeting some characters. Um, that's actually the trip that I took my picture that's down there. Picture of me eating the Mickey bar. That was the only Mickey bar I ate on my program. It's the only one in memory that I have eaten. Um, and spoiler alert, it was like I took one bite of it and it was just like, Ugh. I'm so glad I got the picture when I did because it was not a good time. But anyway. I was at Animal Kingdom and I was meeting characters mainly. I did a couple of rides, but I mainly was there to get some pictures with some characters before I left. Uh, I met Goofy and Pluto over in Dino Land. I think I met Pocahontas. Um, I met uh, Tigger and Pooh. But this particular interaction took place when I was meeting Baloo and King Louie. Now at the time it was over in Camp Mini Mickey, which was where the Festival of the Lion King was. It's now where Pandora is. Uh, that's where Camp Minnie Mickey used to be. So I was over there and I was standing in line to meet Baloo and King Louie from the Jungle Book. Uh, I had never met them before so I was like oh this is a fun you know character that I don't normally get to see so I'm gonna get some pictures with them. And as I'm getting up towards the front of the line the uh, character attendant cast member um, you know was doing his whole spiel where he comes to the line is telling people if you have autograph books get them open to a fresh uh, blank page, get your pens out, get the caps off, get them clicked, have everything ready if you have cameras you know he's doing his whole thing. And he comes to me and he kind of like does like this and kind of looks at me and I was like, hi. <laughs> and he goes, I think I know you. And I was like, I don't know. I maybe he goes, do you work here? He said, are you a cast member? And I said, yeah, I am. And he goes, he like leans really close. Like he's whispering. He's like telling me so he goes, are you Ariel's friend? And I was like, no, I, I'm a Jungle Cruise skipper. And he goes, oh, he's like, well, I totally thought that you were friends with Ariel. That, that's, I, I thought that that was who you were. You just look so much like one of her friends. That was honestly one of the highlights of my program. I was like, I have never once been mistaken for a princess's friend. And the fact that someone thought that I could possibly be a princess's friend, I still am very pleased with that little old man. And whether he was lying to me or not to make me feel better, maybe, I don't know what it was, but he was super nice. And then I, because I was a fellow cast member, uh, he told Baloo and Louie, he was like, hey, she works here, give her a hard time. So then I had a really fun interaction with Baloo and Louie. Uh, Louie actually like took my purse and ran off with it. Um, and Baloo was like proposing and he was like giving me kisses and everything and it was it was really cute and I got lots of fun pictures with them and I was just laughing the whole time so that was a really good character interaction and also that character attendant was like my best friend for a few minutes my next one is one that took place so I believe it was 2016 our and our first anniversary trip that we went on that they started doing the nighttime safaris the Kilimanjaro safaris Animal Kingdom and so we were like oh that's something we haven't ever done before so we were, we made our fast passes or whatever for you know at like night-ish time we wanted it to still be light enough out that we could see some animals but we also wanted to kind of get the nighttime experience we happened to time it perfectly to where when we came onto the savannah the real sunset and the projected sunset matched up so I knew because I am one of those people that reads everything. It's like, oh, Disney has something new. Let me read everything about it and how it has come to be and all the details. 
So I knew, and Cameron knew because I told him, I was like, hey, they're gonna have like this projected sunset, there's gonna be projected moonlight, it's gonna be imitating a sunset on the safari. Well, I assume this, that not everyone who goes to Disney World reads into every single thing about Disney World. That would make sense, that's what a normal human would do. So we happen to be on a bus, truck, truck, let's call it a truck. So we happen to be on a truck for the Kilimanjaro Safari with a bunch of people who it was their first time at Disney World, it was their first time on the safari, they were having such a great time, it was such a high energy truck full of people and like so it was automatically like a really great ride uh, because I love watching people experience stuff at Disney for the first time because it's been so long since I've done stuff for the first time. So it's always fun for me to see people who are like, oh my gosh, look at this. And this one was hilarious and so innocent and just screamed about the magic of Disney World because as we came onto the safari, or onto the savanna rather, as we pulled onto the savanna and we rounded the corner past like, I think it's where the Watusi cattle and stuff are, and we came over to like where there's projection screens behind trees to make it look like there's a sunset. The actual Florida sunset blended into that. So it was, you know, Florida sunsets are awesome anyway, but it was nothing compared to this like fake sunset that they had on the screens but they blended seamlessly. If you didn't know that there was a screen there, you wouldn't have been able to tell. So I knew, and I was like, oh look, that's pretty cool. But everyone behind me was just like, oh, look at that sunset, oh my gosh, it's so perfect. I've never seen such a perfect sunset. And of course it's perfect because it's a projection. It's, it's not a real sunset, it's ergo perfect. But the fact that it was so believable because you're at Disney World, just like I was, I had all of the feels for how magical Disney is and like how perfect was our timing to be able to see it like that. And I was so happy for those people who got to see it like that. And I was happy for me because it was freaking awesome. I mean, it was really, really pretty and it did look completely natural. So that was just a really, really fun experience that I had getting to see firsthand like Disney magic come alive and see how things that you, you know, when you say, like, there's a screen projection of a sunset, you're like, all right. But when you see it actually happen, like, perfectly, it's completely magical and awesome. The last fun little guest interaction that I had as a guest uh, is, it took place at the Jungle Cruise, but I was a guest. <laughs> um, and it's just another one of those, like, small world moments. So, uh, Cameron and I got on the Jungle Cruise and we, were, we went at night because I've mentioned it before, I'll say it again, Jungle Cruise at night is the best, so I always go at night, I never go in the afternoon, always go at night. And uh, so we went and it was like dusk-ish, short line, got right on, and we happened to, even years after I worked there, happened to get on a boat of someone that I knew while I was working at my college program. Didn't know her super well, wasn't like great friends with her, haven't even really kept up with her on like Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. Um, so I was completely certain that she had no idea who I was and I was like, I'm not gonna be like, hey, do you remember me? And have her be like, mm -hmm. I hate doing that to people where you like put them in an awkward position if they don't happen to remember you. So I was just like, let's just get on the drum cruise. How cool is it that it's someone that I happen to know? Like, this is awesome. So we go through the line, they tell us where to sit. We happen to be sitting between the two bars next to the engine. So we sit down and we're ready to go. She had to stall a little bit at load to wait for the rescue boat. And uh, so she's asking where everyone's from and she's asking people questions. So she was asking questions like, raise your hand if this is your first time on the Jungle Cruise, raise your hand if this is your first time at Walt Disney World, stuff like that. And then she says, raise your hands if you are sitting between the bars and you used to work here. And I was like, yes, yes, I did, that's me. And she was like, Megan right and I was like yeah <laughs> and she's like I thought I recognized you so it was just a really cute moment I got on a boat with someone that I I knew and because how many people work at the Jungle Cruise like so many and they come in and out and I was just a college program student who was there for like seven months um, so for her to remember me and like call me out to say hey like that was really fun and I really thought it was special and obviously I, I mean I remember it a few years later still so um, so thanks Skipper Taylor if you for some reason have stumbled upon this. Uh, that was really fun. Thanks for, for saying hey. So those are a few of the fun interactions and uh, experiences I've had while I was a guest at Walt Disney World. I know a lot of my stuff centers around my time working as a cast member and unfortunately because that was such a short period of time, um, I don't have infinite stories about that, but I have been 
to Disney World as a guest a lot of times and there's always something magical and wonderful that happens when you are a guest so I thought I would share some of those experiences too so if you have been to Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Paris, wherever you've been, any of your local theme parks let me know some of your really great experiences that you've had as a guest, any cast members or team members uh, that have really made your experience super awesome or just like something fun and magical that happened while you were at a theme park. Uh, I like to share some positivity and like see all your fun stories. So let me know those down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.